sciences because uh, there's so much variety you can do so many different things um, but uh, the the distance that these two like to fence at is so very different uh, it could be the complete opposite and we have a bit of a stalemate semi-final Burrell's in one counter one attack you got two single lights in the semi-final lights are able to get a, a double out of the uh, the attack from Yannick Burrell and this time manages to allow the distance to close up well, he's going to match him on intensity and Burrell's clearly going to look for this duck that uh, Heinzer does Sweep the blade away with Octave that time. Started, the referee spotted that one quickly, stopped the fight. I was going pinned. Now, you're talking about uh, Heinz finding himself comfortable on the back line. Yes, but he's usually luring his opponent in. That time, Burrell pushed Heinz back, forced him into the corner. He's going to feel more trapped there rather than being the, uh, the lure. Now he's luring Burrell into that distance. And Burrell not falling for the trap, stays away from him, slows down, and then launches a surprise attack. Good start from Yannick Burrell. Heinz is staying in it though. Also showing a bit of variety as well. Prepared to sacrifice a double there, I'd say. Just keep your opponent thinking the whole time. Complaining about uh, Max Heinz's starting position on the piste. Oh, nice hit. He's working it. Nice hit to the wrist. Oh, lovely. Came in quickly, lured the counter from uh, Burrell, and then just picked it up with a beautiful circus cease flick over the top. The clock is not working again. Is there something in the way of the infrared receiver? I think there is. Oh, what's the... Uh, oh, the the uh, engineer was bringing out the spare remote control. The battery dying in the first one. Well, did say it was either going to be fireworks or a damp squib. Fortunately, we've got the fireworks. Oh, lovely. Really nice. You get a replay of this watch. Yannick Burrell's point is well on target the whole time. And just a nice and long attack from the tall fencer. And uh, what's happening here? 
some review not of some sure, sort. Not sure. Well, Heinzer called it. And that's what Heinzer has to do. Wait for Yannick Burrell to stop as he comes forwards, pick up the blade, smash it out of the way, and then use his explosive attack to land before uh, Burrell's point comes back on target. And uh, now uh, there's a call from the French camp saying that, hold on, ref, you called halt. And uh, I'm not sure that a video replay is going to help them here. I, I do feel for them, but someone called halt in one of the earlier matches mm. from the crowd. And that stopped the fences, but the referee said, uh, I, it wasn't me, I didn't call halt. surprised if uh, the referee overturns this because I'm not sure how they can uh, how they can call it because there's no sound on the video replay There's a big discussion going on. A member of the uh, Directoire Technique, the organising committee, down there talking to the referee and the video referee. Here we have a replay, but we don't hear when the halt is called. Decided, and I think that call came from the organisers. Uh, that the uh, sort of extra help comes from the uh, organising committee. They have a, a group of three that uh, help adjudicate questioned calls, and uh, I think that decision was made from uh, the director of technique. They said, "Look, you did call halt, then, and uh, you can't allow that hit." I don't think the video replay really came into that at all. Got that one right. It's not the first time we've seen a Heinzer leg mishap. Came in on the attack. Uh, didn't land successfully. Burrell didn't land his successfully. And then uh, Heinzer couldn't get away and perhaps uh, hurt himself going backwards and then called for a halt on the... French are calling for a bit of uh, foul play there, saying, well, you stop the fight because you couldn't move quick enough. Um, I'll let you decide at home whether he's in the right or the wrong. Another video review, and the hit stands. Yannick Burrell is uh, four hits away from claiming the European title here in Torun, Poland. Uh, but Max Heinzer is uh, five keep, hits. Well, keeping uh, well, he's five hits away, but he's keeping this fight very, very interesting. You want to watch some exciting fencing? There, he's the man to watch for sure. Very unorthodox, only able to fashion a double there. Yannick Burrell staying very calm. 
This is classic French fencing versus uh, unorthodox Ox Swiss fencer. Comes waving his epée in there, and uh, I think that's a little careless against a uh, uh, tall and long reaching French fencer. Burrell can taste this. Oh, a lovely attack from Yannick Burrell. We had a brilliant women's foil final, and this has uh, not let us down at all. Superb first period gold medal on the way here for one of these fences. What a hit that was. Burrell in close quarters, lands the gold medal hit. He is the European champion, dived on by his coach, Hugh Obery. What a brilliant fight. Incredible. Yannick Burrell, <coughs> 2016 men's FA champion. But what a match. That was 